So in both of the delicious hampers that you get, you get this incredible cheese. It's called a Black Truffle Baron Big Odds. Exciting cheese for me. One, this cheese is from where I'm from, close to, in Suffolk. And it's made by the, the guys at Fen Farm Dairy. Incredible cheese. And then they're actually working with Wiltshire Truffles, who's been uh, one of my truffle suppliers since we've opened the restaurant. Incredible truffles. So these guys have actually teamed up to make this incredible cheese. So we're gonna do this as a cheese board. It doesn't get simpler than this. If you just cut your cheese, you can see after you've cut in, but it's beautiful and gooey. Very important that this cheese is room temperature, so get it out at least half an hour before you're gonna eat it. You can see this beautiful layer of black truffles and how uh, ripe this cheese is. And this is literally probably how I'd leave it. You've got your cheese, you leave your knife for people to cut some, classic little selection of the crackers, and then a chutney. Any chutney is good, I, I recommend like a nice fruit chutney. This is a little pear chutney that we made. So just some roasted down pears mixed with a raw pear dice. But you can use any shop bought chutney or whatever chutney is your favorite really. So this is a cheese board just to go up. The, the cheese is the star of the show. You really don't need to get too adventurous here. A simple slice of this cheese on a cracker is amazing. Add in a bit of chutney, that's it, it's all you need. So if you was unable to finish that cheese, because it is a, it's an intense cheese, and you want to stretch it a little further, another really cool thing you can do is bake this over some potatoes in the oven. In our house, traditionally, we always cook way too many roast potatoes. Boxing day, we have cold roast potatoes in the fridge. So this is the roast potatoes that you'd have left over. We've simply got these nice and hot back in the oven. Just with the back of the fork, you just want to crush them so they sort of like go flat. Not too crushed, just so they soften a little bit. Push down and this will create a flat base. And then what we're going to do is slice the cheese and just lay it over the top of the potatoes and bake it in the oven. So if you decided that, that cheese was way too much after a big day of eating, this the next day is, well, it's basically the main event all over again. This is absolutely incredible. So potatoes crushed. Just lay the cheese over the top. Again, this cheese is at room temperature. It's very ripe. And we're just gonna pop it in the oven just until it melts. You don't wanna leave it in there too long, otherwise it will just go everywhere. But you can see here how simple this is. So a piece of remaining cheese, leftover roast potatoes in the oven, you'll have truffle cheese potatoes. Okay guys, so out of the oven, we had the oven at about 170 degrees and you can see here what has just happened. The cheese is melting over the top. The smell is incredible. I've always loved roast potatoes and cheese and this has just elevated it to another level. Cheese is dripping everywhere. It's gone inside the potatoes which we crushed. So you still have like some of the slightly harder bits of cheese, some really liquid bits of cheese, some in between. And then if you're using uh, a little scraper, then you can just drizzle the cheese all over the top. Might be nice with a little fresh leaf salad with a nice vinaigrette dressing but you know, or you just go full power luxurious and eat it as it is.